So a few days ago, I did a little stream trying out my little hacky Chrome YouTube live chat highlighter uh, that I use in conjunction with the ATEM Mini Pro, which makes me be able to highlight the chat directly from the web browser while I'm, while I'm reading the chat and simply click on the message and pull it up on the screen. That way it will be easier for uh, people watching, following along, especially me since when I start to read messages, I start mumbling and stuff and people probably don't really hear me that well. So it's good to have that up on the screen. The good thing about this, it's free. And as long as you have Chrome and this extension, you can do it. It's not a professional solution and you kind of need to dedicate your computer just to the chat. You can kind of screencast if you want to, but you need to be careful uh, not to mix this workflow up. If your main thing is screencasting, uh, I would highly recommend you actually do this on a separate computer. So I'll just walk through exactly how I set this up. Hopefully it will be easy to follow along. So let's start with the ATEM Mini you see here. I have my computer connected to input 4. As you see now I have the Chrome browser open. The first thing we need to do is to download Styler Pro Chrome extension. And you can just search for it, Styler Pro Chrome, or check the link down in the description or in the first comment. Click on that, add to Chrome, add extension. So we have a little S up here in the corner. If you click that, we have a CSS box and a JavaScript box. So next step, let's head up to YouTube, go to go live and we we just gonna set up a dummy stream actually not go live now but just to get the chat going yes we have the live chat here on the right we're just gonna pop that out then we can copy this url we're just gonna open a new window here to have the whole chat full screen then we'll need some code to put into the css and the javascript box here and if you check the description or the first comment you will find a link to uh, github gist and you can see here youtube chat.css copy this paste that into the css box below that we have a little snippet of javascript Copy that into the JavaScript box, click run, and you have a green area up above here right now. If this doesn't show up, you can actually just reload the page and it should show up. And this code we have here running in, in, in the extension actually saves for whatever domain you're in now. So every time you go to studio.youtube.com, it will actually inject this uh, CSS and JavaScript so you don't have to do this every time so what happens now if we just type something testing this chat thing it comes up just like the normal chat but we can click it now if we click that now it will pop up this in this green area you will also have a clear button here so if you click the clear button it will take that chat away and the chat you clicked will also be green highlighted. This is just to make it a bit easier to see where you are in the chat or uh, like which chats you have clicked before, because as you might know, the chat might jump around on you a bit. So easy to find back to where you left off. So, so then we're going to start the ATEM software control and use the upstream key one. The reason we want to do that is because then we can just use uh, the on off switch here on the ATEM control unit itself. So in here we just click the upstream key. Let's reset this now so we can do this from scratch. So I will select my camera 4 here which is my well the one we the one we are looking at right now. So if I put my key on now here you will see the my camera 4 over the 
overlaid, so to speak. And first and foremost, let's go down to flying key and size, because here it's 50. So we put one, uh, one to one, then we'll fill the whole screen, as you can see. I'm going to try and move this down a bit. Then we're going to use the mask feature here. And if you hover the actual label, you can just drag your mouse to mask, hopefully. Let's see. No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, that was a bit. We're basically going to pull the mask down on the top until we hit the green area. And it's going to do the same on the bottom. Well, it's going to take forever, so I'm just going to put in minus two, see where we end up, 0 0.5, close enough, almost there, up until the green area. Okay, so now you don't see the control panel, so let's see here, let's see what we can do. <laughs> can I pull my control panel up into this crop area, so you see what I'm doing? Uh, I'm just going to go down to the flying key and position and uh, drag this down to the bottom of the screen. That's where I want my chat to show up. And the last step here is to do the chroma keying or chroma sample. And we can actually not do this uh, at the same time we have it uh, on. So I need to click this off. You can see here, and you put this color picker on the green. And then if you go back to this and click the on button again, you see we have, well, now we have this in, in the way, but if we pull this down, now we only have the actual chat. So can pull this down and up and down and up and that's pretty much it in in the big scheme of things you can of course adjust this to your liking the reason i have a bit of space below there is because if this is a long long message it would probably be about three or four even rows so be a good thing to have some space to work with now to change the look of this, if you are familiar with CSS, you can change everything on this thing. For example, now you see, now we see the keying up above the, the same keying, but yeah, you get what I mean. So we don't actually need this. So if you, for example, wanted to change the black background to something else, uh, we're going to look for highlight message. This is the background black. Now we can put pink here for example and it turns pink but like i said yeah if you're fami familiar with css you can style this however you want one thing you need to be a bit careful about as you see now if you pull something in over this green area it will show up so that's why i said you probably should have this computer dedicated to just the chat because if i for example switch over to another desktop you see this thing in the in the middle which is maybe 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 not the best thing. Of course, you can just you can just turn the key off and then do your stuff you wanted to do. But like I said, it's kind of a hack. It's not really a professional tool, but it might be better than paying a lot of money for something that you don't use too often. I guess if you stream all day long, it it's another deal. But if you're like me, a stream maybe a one or two times a month. I don't really want to pay if I don't have to. And just having to chat and clicking on the messages is pretty nifty in my opinion. So if you want to try this a bit more serious, uh, you can actually go and do this on other streams as well. So if you go to YouTube and thanks to Aaron Parecki who pointed this out that I can just hijack anyone's live stream and try this out in real time he also pointed out to me that my original code didn't support the super chats but that's updated now as well so i will see if we can find a live stream that have some super chats 
in there now. Let's see. So here we go. We can use this live chat to try this out. Do the same thing. Copy the the chat and paste it in so we can get the whole chat here. And as you see now, it, the code is actually not there. And the reason for that is the domain is different. So we actually need to copy this code again. Copy the JavaScript. Copy the CSS again. Run. And remember to put your key on. Go back here and I'm reading my comments, which is not my comments, but you get the idea. <laughs> Dead two kills. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. And it su su supports the emojis as well. So that's good. And if we can find a uh, super chat. Let's see here. There we go. Super chat. And as you can see, I did some fancy little animation here to point out that it's a super chat. So I hope that uh, explains a few things. Like I said, if you're handy with some uh, front end code like CSS and JavaScript, you can tweak this to your heart content and feel free to experiment. Also check out Aaron Perecki. Uh, I will link his channel down below as well. He has a lot of information about the ATEM Mini and ATEM Mini Pro. So if you're wondering how the switcher works, definitely check out his content. This is not my usual content at all. It was just something fun I realized I could do. So I thought I'd share it. I think that's it. Uh, no need to drag this out anymore. So cheers guys and hope you found it useful.